my fellow Americans, I announced on the new moon of May in 2015 my candidacy for the United States Senate. I noted in that announcement that our government had been corrupted, that our so-called leaders had betrayed the revolution. I said that if we lost our revolutionary spirit that we no longer deserve to call ourselves Americans. We ran a national campaign, and throughout my campaign, my supporters and I were slandered, ostracized, and blacklisted. We were crucified in the media as madmen. Our events were threatened with violence by leftists and shut down by venue owners and organizational leaders for fear of reprisal. I was personally threatened with assassination and expelled from Canada because of riots promised by the left. Our supporters were physically assaulted in two countries. These are the facts of the campaign that the mainstream media declined to report in their maniacal effort to defame us. From the end of that campaign until now, things have only escalated. Those connected with us have seen their families and friends targeted for violence by the left. The same group that has been shutting down the speeches of people like Milo Yiannopoulos, Ann Coulter, Arthur Jensen, and Ron Paul. It is, therefore, unlikely that anyone could have been surprised at the events in Charlottesville this past weekend. The left has been physically attacking patriot gatherings, free speech rallies, and protests for the destruction of our heritage in the South. They have waged a campaign of terror from coast to coast and all across Europe for well over two years now. And yet, the City Council of Charlottesville deliberately set a trap for those of us attending the Unite the Right rally. The Charlottesville Police Department declined to coordinate with the organizers and then pushed the right-wing attendees into a leftist riot. The governor of Virginia blamed the violence on the attendees who were attacked, abdicating all responsibility for his role in this disaster. The mainstream media has for days been creating a false narrative, deliberately ignoring the terrorism by the left that has run rampant in this country for two years now, shifting the blame to those of us dedicated to preserving this great country. And our federal congressmen, Democratic and Republican alike, have been complicit in promoting this fabricated story favoring short-term virtue signaling over the more difficult task of telling the truth of what happened. As I said, our government has been corrupted. Our so-called leaders have betrayed the revolution. And if we have lost our revolutionary spirit, we no longer deserve to call ourselves Americans. Our leaders should seek to protect the traditions and values of the people working to strengthen this country. They should not be seeking to placate those who would destroy it. They should be concerned with the interests of American citizens, not the welfare of foreigners and the profits of special interests. They should be seeking to restore our republic rather than hastening its demise by cowering to yellow journalists, communists, and globalists. New leadership is needed in this country. And so I am seeking the Republican nomination for the United States Senate in the great state of Florida. We now enter a new age of American history. And the question to be answered is this. Will we restore the republic our forefathers created, or will we allow it to be annihilated by those who hate America, its history, and all it stands for? A reckoning has come. God wills it. I guess as people will, do, if you wouldn't mind uh, taking a the question there. Let's do it. All right. Ford, so anything for you, though. People will be critical of your choice to announce this right after uh, the rally in which somebody died. Uh, what do you say to those journalists who are going to look at the footage we just shot and criticize you on that basis? I say to them that they are at fault for this. They push this narrative of the white supremacist rally, which they know to be false. Um, they know that this kid was attacked by the mob in his car. Uh, it is certainly unfortunate that this person died, but that is the fault of the Charlottesville City Council. Uh, they deliberately set a trap for everybody. They set us in a kill box. Uh, they knew what they were doing. Uh, the Charlottesville Police Department knew there would be violence. They stood down. Uh, and when they did uh, do something, they attacked us. So uh, the Charlottesville City Council and the Charlottesville Police Department, they are to blame for that death. With most wings of the Republican Party being very critical of the events that unite the right, from Trump all the way down to uh, various senators, uh, do you really think that you can uh, succeed in winning over the hearts and minds of Republican voters in Florida? Oh, absolutely, because this is more than just one Charlottesville rally. Uh, this is about the fate of the country. And if you look at all the people that are prospective candidates for this race, if you look at the people that are candidates now, they're all part of the establishment, they're all part of the system, uh, and they all support 
uh, not just this narrative that the mainstream media has created about this, but the fake news they do every day in this country. Do you disavow the uh, individuals who were there specifically to commit violence or those people who were in ideological uh, sects that you don't personally identify with? For example, uh, the literal Nazis, the uh, white supremacists, etc. I disavow anybody that showed up to that event ready to perpetrate violence. Uh, our people on the right wing, the attendees of the rally, and all of us who are speakers, and all the people that were there as my security detail, they showed extraordinary self-restraint. Uh, they did not attack anyone, and I actually gave them an order not to attack, and they followed that. Uh, they only defended themselves when they were attacked by the mob. So yes, I do condemn the mob uh, that attacked the peaceful protesters at the rally. Uh, I condemn anybody who showed up with the specific intent to cause violence at what was supposed to be a peaceable assembly. All things considered, do you think that the Unite the Right rally was successful from your end? In, in the end, one person died and you never got to give your speech. Uh, did, you, right. did you succeed in, in any goal? Yes, we succeeded in uniting the right. I think that's clear um, in the sense that we showed up that day and there was not one single member of the right wing who was attacking another member of the right wing. Everybody there was focused on a common enemy and that was the mob. Uh, the leftist mob that was there, the Charlottesville City Council, Charlottesville Police Department, the governor of Virginia, they all came together as one coalition of the left, and that united the right. So that no one in the right wing was bickering, no, none of the factions were fighting each other, they were all focused on the outside, and that was a great success. Uh, sort of lastly, like that unity that you're just describing on the right, there was uh, very homogeneous unity among the left, and it seems like both sides, their unity was based on hating the other side. Uh, are you concerned that that rally and your candidacy are leading to an ex more extremism on both sides of politics that's just going to kind of increase the vitriol or the chance of violence uh, up until 2018 and beyond? I would disagree with the categorization that both sides were united by hate. I think the left-wing coalition is a hateful uh, movement. I think it, they've made that clear. They hate uh, white people, they hate males, they hate heterosexuals. I mean, they've been very open about that fact. Uh, the right wing was united because they were attacked by a common enemy. So that's completely different. It's not the, a hateful uh, unity. On our end, it is unity in the face of an external aggressor. So I would draw that line there. Uh, as far as the um, unity of the right wing, uh, especially with the far right and its opposition to the far left and its unity. Yes, I do think um, we are in for some wild days ahead. All right. Thank you very much.